Hello everyone and here we have a new story. Before we get to that, I want to ask you to subscribe, like, and be sure to write comments in order to participate in the development of the community. Write how to improve my community, current topics in the stories you are interested in, and much more. I read and listen to all the comments. People write me stories by mail from different countries. There are problems with translation. I apologize for this. I will work on it and try to fix these errors. I want to thank everyone for their support and the people who wrote to me by mail. Broadcast news stories. New videos on my channel are published once every two days at 7 p.m. Don't forget to put a bell in order not to miss new videos. And now let's go. Hello, I want to share my story with you. My wife and I have been married for seven years. We have two children. I work in a managerial position. There's a lot of work in my life. My wife also got a job after maternity leave. I bought my wife a car to make it easier for her to get to work. We had a wonderful life while my wife was at home. Every year I took the whole family to the ocean. In general, everything was very good. But one day, I noticed that my wife was hiding social media correspondence from me. My wife hid email passwords from me and so on. I walk into the room and she frantically closes her laptop. I asked, why are you acting like this? My wife replied to me, yes, I just checked everything. There's nothing new there. In my wife's social media profile, she is actively searching. There are no photos of me or photos of children in her profile. I began to worry very much about this. I talked to my wife so that she would fix everything immediately. My wife fixed everything but did not delete the incomprehensible male friend. I have a new project again. I started working from early morning until late evening. A year later, I began to notice that my wife was becoming a different person. The sex wasn't so hot anymore. My wife has grown cold to me. The New Year holidays have come. I stayed at home with my family. All our relatives gathered. We went to the house on the lake shore to grill meat, organize fishing, and so on. I roast meat and watch the children who are sitting next to me. Children need to go to the toilet or somewhere else. I don't have time. My wife is still not around. My wife walked for two hours and took pictures at the recreation center. Okay, I guess. But my wife didn't sit with me for 20 minutes. In general, then we went to another city on business. We took our eldest daughter with us. We decided to take a walk and, at the same time, explore the local attractions. My wife acted like she wasn't our family. I felt sick and started looking for pills in my bag. I can't find what I need. I asked my wife, where are the pills? I do not know, my wife replied. Look for yourself. While we were on the road, my wife didn't even offer to replace me and get behind the wheel. Even though she knew I wasn't feeling well, I couldn't take it anymore. As soon as we arrived, I immediately talked to my wife. She said it was all right. I made it all up and became paranoid. After this conversation, my wife's behavior did not change. The worst thoughts were forming in my head. Two weeks passed, we sat at home and watched a TV show. I abruptly grabbed my wife by the neck and looked into her eyes. I asked my wife to tell me, honestly, do you have anyone? She calmly replied that she had no one, that I'm paranoid. At least I could see her eyes darting. She took my hand away and went to send the photo to her relatives. She couldn't send the photo. She asked me how to do it. I tell her to go to her email address. I will send you a photo. She intentionally entered the wrong password for 20 minutes, which I found out about later anyway. But listen, five minutes later, she changed her password. I didn't have time to see anything. I'm trying to talk to her again. She's blatantly lying in my face. She says she didn't change her email password. I became enraged and started screaming. In the end, she confessed. She came in and showed me her email. There was nothing there. Maybe she deleted everything. She has a new male friend on social media. Judging by the photo, a uh, very athletic man. He put hearts under her photo. I asked my wife, who is this? She replied that it was a welder from her job. He found me by himself. I just added him as a friend, she said. All this time, I was slowly going crazy. A couple of days pass and I rummage in my wife's bag. I've never felt so humiliated. I find a sheet on which a love message is written. Judging by the handwriting, it was written by my wife. Then I found her mobile phone. I find the contact of some man in her mobile phone. All messages have been deleted. I can't log into social media from her phone. Passwords are set for all of them. I wrote down the number of this person. The next day, I decided to call this person. I was very curious. Who is it? But he didn't pick up the phone. Maybe my wife warned him. I didn't know what to do anymore. I just couldn't find a place for myself. 
As a result, one day my wife goes to take a bath. I pick up her cell phone again and check the details. I was shocked. My wife corresponded with this man every day. I took her cell phone and broke into her bathroom. I ask, who is it? She replies that it's an engineer from her job. I'm asking if you correspond with the engineer. My wife resisted to the last until I poked her in the face with my cell phone. My wife said that this is a real engineer. They just correspond about work. I got very angry, got dressed, and left. I spent the night in the car. I smoked three packs of cigarettes all night. But to be honest, I wanted to kill myself. I felt really bad. It was already a mental disorder. As a result, I returned home in the morning. I packed up and rented a hotel. I wanted to be alone. At this moment, a message arrives from my wife that this engineer fell in love with her. He even proposed to her. But she loved me and refused him. I was shocked again. I realized she's lying to me when she inhales air. As a result, I returned home a couple of days later because of our children. My daughter really asked me to come back. My wife still claims that she was just talking to him, nothing more. I didn't believe a word she said anymore. I realized that it was my wife's lover. My wife is crying and asking me not to leave. I decided to get a divorce. I haven't been able to escape from this hell for two months. I couldn't live in this hell anymore. I decided to dot all the... I managed to get through to this person. I made an appointment with him. He just couldn't disagree. Because I said I'd tell his wife everything. Yes, this man was married and had a child. At the meeting, this man admitted that he and my wife had been having an affair for about six months. My wife wanted him to leave his family and move in with her. After that, he stopped communicating with her. Besides, I found out about everything. He didn't want any trouble. He very strongly asked me not to tell his wife anything. I listened to everything he said. Everything inside me was boiling like a volcano. I couldn't stand it and punched him in the eye with all my might. He fell off his chair. I went up to him and said, Okay, I won't tell your wife anything, but you have to understand that if you go to the police, <laughs> I can change my mind, he muttered, that it was his own fault that he got into someone else's wife. He won't go to the police. I turned around and left. While I was walking to the car, I was in shock. So she wanted to go to him. I thought, despite the fact that we have two children, when he stopped communicating with her, my wife started crying and saying how much she loves me. She begged me not to leave. What kind of girls are bitches? The next day, I filed for divorce. As a result, we divorced. My wife was hospitalized from severe stress. Her heart could not stand it. I help my children. I'm not going to leave the kids. They're not to blame for anything. I will definitely not forgive my wife for anything. So guys draw conclusions based on my story. As soon as the wife begins to behave strangely, act immediately. Be vigilant. I think we're done here. Let's move on to the advice of the author of the channel. Channel author's advice. I am truly sorry to hear about the difficult situation you find yourself in. It is obvious that you have faced tremendous pain and betrayal in your marriage. Here are some tips to keep in mind as we move forward. First of all, take care of yourself emotionally and mentally. Ask for support from friends, family, or even a therapist to help you sort out your feelings and heal. Your children are innocent in this situation and now they need your love and support more than ever. Be a stable and caring presence in their lives. Forgiving your ex-wife may not mean forgetting but it can help you get rid of the burden of anger and resentment. Forgiveness is a gift that you make to yourself. Understand that it takes time to restore trust. When you are ready, think about your future relationship with an open but careful heart. Use this as an opportunity to rediscover your own passions, interests, and goals. Rebuilding your life can be a powerful way to move forward. Keep a positive outlook on the future. Remember that not all people are the same. And in the future, you may find someone who truly appreciates and respects you. Think about the lessons you have learned from this experience. Use them to make wiser choices in the future and become a stronger and more resilient person. Make sure that your rights and responsibilities as a parent are protected during the divorce process. Consult with a family lawyer to sort out this aspect. Remember that you have the strength to overcome this challenge and create a bright future for yourself and your children. Surround yourself with supportive people and focus on building a fulfilling life ahead. I wish you all the best on your journey to healing and personal growth. If you have watched to the end, I want to say thank you very much. I love you all.
Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. I appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe, like, and share the story. Your participation and feedback are invaluable for shaping our content and promoting mutual understanding and community growth. Until we meet again.